Hello friends, welcome to the channel Biology Needs. So in this channel, I'll be talking about all the needs for second PUC biology. To start with, this is the first video and I'll be talking about the syllabus for second PUC. So second PUC biology syllabus consists of 16 chapters in which there are few units and I'll be talking about their marks and weightage also. So here the first chapter is reproduction in organisms which carries five marks. The next chapter is sexual reproduction in flowering plants and it carries eight marks. Then third chapter is human reproduction. It carries seven marks. And then fourth chapter is reproductive health or reproductive and strategies. It carries five marks. So this is the first unit, but we will be talking about the unit as sixth because this is continuation from first PUC. First PUC syllabus have five units. So now from second PUC, it is sixth unit. So moving on to the next unit, next unit, first chapter or the fifth chapter is principle of inheritance and variation. It carries 10 marks. Then Sixth chapter is molecular basis of inheritance. This carries again 10 marks. The seventh chapter is evolution. This carries five marks. Now these three chapters make the next unit that is the seventh unit. Seventh unit consists of three chapters. Moving on to the eighth chapter, which is a eighth unit. Eighth chapter name is human health and disease. It carries eight marks. And then the ninth chapter is again, strategies for enhancement in food production carries eight marks. Then the 10th chapter is microbes and human welfare carries six marks. So these three chapters make the next unit that is eighth unit. So this is the eighth unit. Next is ninth unit and the first chapter or 11th chapter is biotechnology principles and process. It carries six marks. Then moving on to the 12th chapter, it is biotechnology and its applications. It carries five marks. So these two chapters of biotechnology is of the next unit that is ninth unit. So ninth unit consists of only biotechnology chapters. Then moving on to the 10th unit, First chapter or the 13th chapter is organisms and its population. It carries six marks. Next chapter or 14th one is ecosystem. It carries six marks. Then 15th chapter biodiversity and conservation carries four marks. And then last one is environmental issues are also called as just environment carries six marks. So these four chapters are of the 10th unit. So these are the units wherein the second PUC syllabus is being bifurcated. So the units are from six to 10 and this is weightage of marks. So this is the uh, marks which is being allotted for each chapter according to which the question papers are set. So according to these, if you study the chapters, then 
you would fetch more marks and then totally it is 105 or 105 marks why it is 105 marks it is including all the options so 70 marks is for your biology theory paper but the syllabus is set for 105 that is including options so this is including optional questions so that is why a complete question paper is being set for 105 marks i hope this information was useful for you all and please subscribe the channel for various other updates about second puc biology syllabus question papers answer keys neat questions and lastly we would also cover the chapters thank you all